This one's on a script I created uh, to turn any of your existing terminals into a drop down terminal. So let me demonstrate this out here. Um, look at it. If I hit a hotkey, boop, it goes, you know, drop down. And this one is actually known terminal, which they don't have a drop down feature, but it still works. So just to prove to you guys, we'll go to the about page here. And this one is the known terminal, right? Uh, let's close out this one and just try out another terminal. We'll do X term. And if you hit the hotkey, it will actually turn it into a drop down terminal here. Let's just suck her out just to see. So that's X term. You can do that with that. Uh, really, you can do with any terminal, I believe. But let's do URXVT just to prove another one. Right. Well, let's just suck her out. Oh, look at that drop down terminal for you and some people like uh, terminator also we'll do that sucker and this one is terminator we'll list this sucker out and look at that you still do the drop down terminal real quick here I uh, only test this out in i3 and also XFC so it works fine in both I'm not sure about other ones but I think it should work you know We'll see here. But anyways, let's go back to open up our uh, GNOME terminal here. And we'll put out Tmux again. Now we'll do a full screen here. Take this bar off. And there you go. We have our drop down terminal again. Uh, so the script, pretty easy. I call this one any term drop down. Right. And what do you need in here? So you do need to install XDOL tools which should be in all repositories. Uh, the next one is, I think is a little bit harder to uh, find here. So this one is actually a new package called WMUtils. And it's a package that has multiple mini um, applications inside it. They'll actually allow you to manipulate uh, X windows. So any GUI application, you can manipulate the windows and everything that. So that's what you need, all right? Uh, if you have Arch, you can install it from the AUR. Otherwise, you know, do it manually for your system. Um, code is pretty simple. This one grabs your screen resolution, so your width and the height. Not sure if this will be affected if um, you're using multiple monitors. So maybe that fixes that shit up with yourself um, if you're doing that. And you have two options here. Okay, one of them is to set your terminal manually which is what I would recommend, but if you want to do this, uh, option two will automatically detect the terminals that uh, you add in here. So I added all the ones that I know of, um, you know, in here. And if you have like multiple terminals open, then, you know, it's gonna only gonna grab one. So make sure if you're gonna do this one, just open one terminal, and then you can do the drop down thing, all right? Anywho, uh, normally I would just recommend you do, we'll comment that out and just type in the terminal you want to use. So I usually use uh, the GNOME terminal here, right, for my uh, variable. And here, this one is just going to grab the, uh, what is that, the process ID. Um, this one was going to be the uh, Windows ID. And this one is to maximize it using um, the, what is that, WM utils. And this one's to toggle the uh, drop down. Pretty simple. That's it for the whole script, really. Um, and then you need to bind this to a hotkey. So if you're doing this on XFCE or something like that, then uh, let me show you the thing here. All right, you just go to your, you know, your XFCE keyboards. Or if you're doing this on GNOME, then you go to your keyboard, whatever the fuck it is, and um, you know, add a new one. And point to your script where you saved it and then um, give it a shortcut key. So I use the grave key, aka the squiggy line shit under your escape key, right? And then that's how you would bind that in uh, XFC or you can do that in GNOME and Mate and all these other shit, right? Uh, if you do this in I3, it's two things you need to do in I3. Uh, go to your configurations. Make sure you set your terminal uh, to be floating windows. So you see these ones here, I said to floating the terminator, I said to floating X term and the UX term and URXPT terminal. Set it to floating 
And then uh, you also need to bind a hotkey to that. Where the fuck was that? Uh, any. There you go. What the hell? Do that again. So this one here. Right. This is how you bind the hotkey. So real simple. You do bind sys. SYM. And then the grave key. And then you execute uh, your script. Basically where your location is at. And that's all you gotta do for binding and uh, make sure you set it floating windows like I said. And then uh, reload your configurations and you're good to go. And now you can always do drop down with a single button real quick. Now my whole reason for doing or switching to a, a different terminal instead of using Quake for the drop down or Yaquake or uh, was that uh, the XFC4 terminal for the drop down is because uh, no terminal supports images and also urxpt and, and uh, x term so let me show you an example of that this was my whole reasoning to do this right so now i can actually get uh support in here where the fuck is that it's not working here um let's do another one here there you go i think it works now right there you go so my whole reason for this was to get images to work in my fucking terminal uh, using Ranger and what was that the other one? W3M image display. And there you go. That's how we do it here. Anywho, if you want to turn your existing terminal, because some people like, you know, using GNOME terminal or UXVT uh, or Xterm or Terminator and they want to have that drop down feature, but, you know, no one ever added that shit. You can use the script. Should work on other uh desktop environment but i'm not sure not sure about like multiple monitors either because uh, i haven't set mine up for that anywho try it out if you can fix it up and make it better let me know and uh you know i'll update my shit too that'll be it for this one